To write the name for CONO33, the first thing we need to realize is this NO3 here. This is called the nitrate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. We actually have two nitrate ions here. We have CO, that's cobalt, and that's a transition metal. So we have a metal and we have these nonmetals. This is an ionic compound, and we can use these rules here to write the name for CONO32. Let's first write the name for the metal, just like it appears on the periodic table. CO, that's cobalt. Then we're just going to write the name for the polyatomic ion, that nitrate ion, NO3. Good one to memorize. Lowercase n. And so far, we have cobalt nitrate for the name for CONO32. But cobalt, we said that was a transition metal. So it can have a different charge depending what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to the nitrate ion, actually to two of them. And the whole thing, this whole nitrate ion, has a charge of 1 minus. Good one to remember. We have two of them. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. The cobalt has to be 2 plus, so all these numbers add up to 0. They give us a net charge of 0. Since we have a 2 plus on the cobalt, we need to write that in the name. So we're going to put a cobalt 2 in parentheses, nitrate. So the name for CONO32 is cobalt 2 nitrate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.